Along with the Paris Agreement on Climate Change, Norway is committed to a 90 to 95 percent greenhouse gas emissions reduction below 1990 levels by 2050. Being Europe's go-to for oil and gas, Norway is trying to balance fossil fuel production with a transition to green alternatives. For some industry insiders, embracing the future is the key to achieving this goal. New technology. Being an open-minded for new te technology. Support actually those who are the innovators. Say hooray to them. Encourage them. They are the heroes for, for, for today and tomorrow. One of the technologies embraced by Norway has been carbon capture and storage, or CCS. The country's longship project and the new Northern Lights venture, which is a cooperation between Norwegian state energy giant Equinor, along with Shell and Total. Northern Lights, which will come online in 2024, sees CCS technology branch out in a new direction. Traditionally, CCS projects are usually capturing the volume from their own emissions, whichever facilities it is, and injecting them themselves. What we are developing with Longship and then with Northern Light in particular is transport and storage offered as a service to any kind of industry in any location which are reachable for us for transport. The project is still under construction, but the endeavour, which will see liquefied carbon dioxide pumped into reservoirs 2,600 metres below the seabed, is taking shape. The CO2 will arrive by ship just over there. It'll then make its way into 12 gigantic steel containers. It'll be housed just over my left shoulder there. By the time this project hits its second phase, which it's estimated to do in 2026, it's hoped it'll be able to store between five and seven million tonnes of CO2 every single year. Two huge ships bringing CO2 into Norway are currently under construction in China's Liaoning province shipyards to aid with deliveries. The Norwegian government agency responsible for regulating the petroleum resources on the Norwegian continental shelf says Norway is ready to be a leader in this field. And we believe that we have high capacity with uh, the, the estimates that we've done is, is that you can, you can store or inject more than 100 years of Germany's current uh, emissions per year. So, so that's, that's quite a lot. Carbon capture and storage is crucial in Norway's transition from fossil fuel to carbon neutral alternatives. CCS also provides very dirty industries with the ability to clean up production. Some industries, even if they transition to renewable for the supply of power, their own process emits CO2. That's what we call the hard to abate emissions. So those industries like cement, waste incineration, uh, metallurgy for the time being, they can't produce their, their own product without emitting CO2. That is where the projects in Norway could become important in the developing world to allow nations to build infrastructure and industry while still hitting climate targets, as the steel and cement industries are responsible for 14% of all global emissions. While critics raise worries about the risk of leaks on undersea reservoirs, those behind projects like Northern Lights insist it is safe and is putting the carbon back where it came from, underground. Peter Oliver, CGTN, Wrong, Norway.